All right, so we have already now here a theorem that we started with. This first theorem of the day, which was that if you had a switch matrix, the kind that does row I switching to row J, that all we have to do is use it, the A inverse for such a matrix is just the switch right back. So switch back. You're given two rows, you want to switch them in one way, then you just switch them right back. Okay. Then there's a second theorem we've done today, and the second theorem says that if you had a row operation matrix A, which takes row I to K row I, then it has an inverse A inverse is equal to R that takes row I to 1 over K row I. So notice this division 1 over K that's happening here is allowed because K is not equal to 0. Now, if you did a matrix that took row I to 0 row I, that would fail. So we should definitely emphasize that example. Warning, if matrix A, matrix A takes a row I to 0 times row I, then it has no inverse at all. And how can we see that? So let's just see that with an example. So, um, and rather than doing a proof in general, let's just, just do an example for now. So example, let's just continue here. I'm just going to slide this up. Example, let's do um, A is in M three by three, and we take row two goes to zero row two, which is not an allowed row action for this exact reason of not having an inverse actually. So if you take A in M three by three, which takes row two to row two, then this means that A actually equals, it doesn't do anything to row one, it takes the second row to zero and zero, zero, one. So let's just check A times ABC is equal to A, plus zero plus zero, it equals zero plus zero plus zero, and equals zero plus zero plus C. So that is equal to A zero C. Okay, so this is the matrix that does this action of taking row two to zero row twos. So this is why we need to take K not equal to zero up here. If we do zero row twos, that's these three zeros so that we can get a zero row two. That's these three zeros right here. So now, this A has no inverse. And the reason is, if you try any inverse at all, try any matrix you want, no matter what matrix we try, it won't work. So let's just try, for example, so try A inverse is just equal to a general matrix, say B in general, which will equal B11, B12, B13, B21, B22, B23, B31, B32, B33. And then I take A times A inverse, and this is supposed to come out to be the entity. But if I take A times B, what happens? We're taking 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 times this B, this guy right here. What do you get? Pause and try. I'm going to give myself a little more room. So I'm copying my A, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. I'm going to do the middle here, 0, 0, 0, and I multiply it by this B, ditto, from right there. And what do we get? You get B1, 1, plus 0, plus 0, B1, 2, plus 0, plus 0, B1, 3, plus 0, plus 0, and the second row, 0 plus 0 plus 0, 0 plus 0 plus 0, 0 plus 0 plus 0, and the last row will be B3, 1, B3, 2, B3, 3. So this row of zeros here, this row of zeros is forced on us by being multiplied by these three zeros. If you worked it out, then you saw that that happened. And so you see this can never equal 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. And why can it never equal that? because this one is here. 
we can never get this one that's right here to equal this zero that's right there because one is not equal to zero. So this warning that we've given here, this warning is explaining that this theorem here very much is using, this theorem strongly uses, that says the row action, row i to k row i, has an inverse needs k not equal to zero. And in this example we say in 3x3 three three case why we need k not equal to zero. You could also do a proof in the n by n case to see why k is not equal to zero. Okay, so we, we could prove this in the n by n case. We could prove this. But we don't have enough time. n by n case using some notation. We can always show that row i, that row i there, is going to have a bunch of, of zeros in it studying the i-th row. I'm going to make that extra credit for anyone who wants to try it. All right, so now that we've gotten past here, I do want to talk about the next um, theorem, another kind of row action we've studied. So let me stop this video here and we'll start the next video with that row action.